All right, now we're gonna use the whisper. You've seen the other two videos. You've seen that under vacuum, it's fairly well holding, wasn't picking up nothing. Down at the high side at the top where it connects to the compressor, could not pinpoint it. I put 235 PSI, which is getting up there, uh, of dry nitrogen, and the thing was just whistling and howling. But even with my fingertips where I could barely get down inside there, could not pick up anything. So I added UV dye. I have nit uh, refrigerant going in, vapor. That's the vapor. See that red line? That red, that's vapor. That's not liquid. It's going in vapor into the suction line. And we had a leak that was so big, it was howling and whistling over here. Right now, as you can see the whisper, there is nothing. At 65 PSI, it's not leaking. When I got the pressure up to 200 and something, it was leaking. And as the pressure was bleeding out under the nitrogen and it was starting to approach 150, it was slowing down a lot. And by the time I was off video and came back and disconnected it, the leak stopped somewhere around 120 or 125 PSI. No more leak. Put refrigerant, no more leak. But let's charge this thing up and uh, get it going. I'm going to charge it vapor only. I described in other vehicles why I'm charging it vapor only because of access problems. Let's get back to the next video on this and see if the UV dye pinpoints the leak because it's not leaking now.